Hello everyone, welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. Today we're going to be talking about skin orgasms. We're going to talk about doing massages in reverse. Oh yes, this is going to be an awesome video. I want you to like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy the show. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your host. Today, we're going to be talking about free sun, which another word for it is skin orgasm. But I chose to use that particular term for my Facebook audience only because a lot of times, um, depending on how you write the caption, the live will get flagged by Facebook. So I want to make sure that everybody's able to get the information. And of course, you can always go on my YouTube to, um, to catch up on the videos, so on and so forth. Well, it is Friday and y'all, I am super excited about getting this information out to you. But first of all, let me talk about um, my audience and who it is that I talk to because of course men watch these videos too, but let's be realistic. My primary audience is women. And I have a direct interest in seeing women be better. Um, and I don't necessarily want to just say wives. I just want to see women be better women. Because I, I understand even though I'm pro-marriage, not pro-wedding, but pro-marriage, I understand that marriage is not for everybody. But just because you don't want to be married does not mean that you don't want to be a good woman to your man. Okay? So I just want to make sure that I put that out there. Um, when I'm talking, a lot of times I'm directing it to women. A lot of times I'm directing it to women from my point of view. So when I'm talking, uh, sometimes what I've learned when you're following certain content creators is you're not going to agree with everything that the content creator says. And that's okay. It's perfectly fine for you not to agree with everything that the content creator says. But you have to understand that most content creators come from certain backgrounds and they have certain principles. So they talk about things from their perspective and their point of view. For example, I don't believe that women should wear bonnets in public, but I'm not about to have this big old debate about how you choose to leave out of your house. If you okay with it, then guess what? I'm okay with it too. But when you ask me about how I feel about women wearing bonnets, I'm going to tell you that I believe that they should be worn inside of your home. If you ask me about my principles, because there was someone on YouTube that basically said when I was talking about fixing a man food on a plate, she's probably one of those people that feed her that feed her man before her children. You are absolutely correct. The head eats first. That's a, that's order in your home. And I understand that everybody household don't run like that. I'm only telling you about what I believe. So. Today, this video is going to be two parts. It's going to be about products. It's going to be about doing the massage in reverse. And I was just trying to get the audience to build up a little bit. Doing the massage in reverse because a lot of times we always do the massage first to get the person to unwind and get them in the mood and all of this kind of stuff. But this time, we're going to talk about the benefits of doing the massage after he has come, after he has ejaculated. And we're going to do the massage as a form of aftercare. Okay? We want to get him some we want we want him to experience some amazing aftercare. And this is not just for the women to do. Men, if you watching, especially y'all on YouTube, do a massage as aftercare for her after she's had her orgasm. And we're going to talk about some of the things that you're going to experience when you do it for aftercare. Okay, when you're doing it for aftercare, you want to make sure you are affirming her. 
What what uh what does that mean, Sharonda? What does it mean to affirm her? Affirming her or affirming him means telling them some things that are positive that that you see in them, different qualities that you see in them. Okay, I understand that if he just uh Mr. Willow from around the corner and it ain't that deep, then this might this video might not be for you. I get it. If, if she, Frederica, from around the corner, I get it. You might not want to affirm Frederica because it might create problems. She might think y'all together. I get it. But for those of you all who are in serious, committed relationships, or you have people in your lives that you want to know how you feel about them, this is the perfect opportunity to express to them how you feel about them when you're doing this massage for their aftercare, okay? As you can see, I have different products up here, okay? All of these are products that you can use for massage. All of them are a little bit different, okay? As you can see, I have three candles up here. One is a flavor candle. The other is a soy wax candle, a smaller version. My people who own a budget, who, who would get this candle? A person that's on a budget, it's only $12. A person who only wants to use it while they're in the hotel for that particular night and they don't necessarily want things that they have to be bringing home. If you are traveling, this is a great size candle for if you are traveling. Um, if you want to try it out for the first time to see if your partner would enjoy wax play, this is the person that will get this particular candle. Now, we have this Pure Instant Candle, which is made of shea butter and vitamin E. This is going to be one of your more expensive candles, okay? This one, you only need a little bit, all right? So, what you want to do is, once you have finished having sex and this person has reached their orgasm and you have cleaned them up, then you want to pull out the candles because, see, I want you to have these candles burning while you are actually having sex, okay? Okay? You don't need to worry about them. If they ask about them, just tell them, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, baby. We're going to get to it. They be wondering, when we're going to pull the wax? Don't worry about it, baby. We're going to get to it. Okay? You want to use this afterwards. Okay? So this is going to be your warm massages. This one, this one, and this one. All for a warm massage. When you want to do a warm massage for aftercare. All right? If you've done the warm massages before and you want to give them a, a different type of experience, this is a tingling massage lotion. This one has peppermint in it, okay? So we all know that peppermint is a cooling type of massage lotion. Peppermint, cooling, meaning when the air or anything you blow on it, it gives off a cooling sensation, right? So that's the difference between this. This is a cooling then we have your traditional spa type of a massage lotion. This one is made of almond oil. So as you can see, all of them have something different to bring to the table. And all of them are on the website, okay? Uh, except the, the travel one. This one is not on there, but when this video is released to YouTube, I will make sure that all of them have been added. But this one is made with almond oil. Okay, this is going to be more of your spa quality. If you're looking for stuff they use in the spa, this is going to be a spa quality. And this one, which is one of my favorites, has the aromatherapy in the massage oil. Yeah, this one is an oil because I was about to say lotion. This one has the aromatherapy in the massage oil, which not only um, has seven different natural oils in it, but... It also awakens the body through the sense of smell, okay? So, what you want to do is, right when your man, and I'm speaking of men because I always talk about from my experience, I've never had sex with a woman, I have sex with my husband, so I'm going to speak from my experience of having sex with a man. When he reaches his, when he comes, ejaculates, and he's experiencing what's called resolution. That's when his body is starting to come down. Okay. That's when I pull out this aromatherapy massage oil. 
And I take this and I drizzle it all over the part of the body that I'm going to be massaging at the moment. I don't take it and put it all over his body. I did not say that. I say I put it on the spot that I'm going to be working on at the moment. I like to start from the neck and then work my way all the way down to the toes. Okay. I drizzle it on his chest and I'm going to start rubbing from chest up to neck, neck down to chest, chest up to neck, neck down to chest. And I'm going to let this man know how much I appreciate him. I'm going to let him know that I see everything that he does for his family. I want to let him know that I'm acknowledging the man that he is to me. I'm acknowledging the helpmate that he is to me. Well, I, let me rephrase that. I'm acknowledging him being the head because I'm his helpmate. I'm acknowledging just him being the covering for our family and letting him know that it's not going unnoticed and that I, I see it, okay? For those of you all that are looking for different words to be able to affirm your partner because you may not know what to say. Some of the things that you can say is how much I adore you, how amazing you are, how much I appreciate you, how awesome you are, how you are a brilliant person with a brilliant mind, how much I cherish you, how confident you are, how creative you are, how that dick was delicious to me. Yeah, how empowered you make me feel. All of these are, and if you go on my page, I have the list of affirmations posted on my page. All of these things you can say to let this person know how much they mean to you. Because let me tell you something, ladies, we have to affirm our men because the streets are not going to do it for us. When they leave our presence and they go out into the world, the world is going to dog them out. That's a part of being on the other side of your door. So when they are in the home, we have to affirm them. We have to build them up and let them know how important they are to us. This message is not for the men who ain't hitting on shit. If you feel like that about them, check yourself. Check yourself and say, self, why in the fuck am I here? If you feel so disgruntled and feel like he ain't deserving of this and he ain't deserving of that. We need to figure out what we're going to do different. Because the thing is, I want to be with somebody that I can do these things for, that I can cater to because they're going to do these things for me. That's the type of relationship that I want. I don't want a bitter ass relationship. And far too often what I see on my page when I start speaking life into the relationship and positive things into the relationship, here old bitter ass Betty talking about he's still going to cheat. If you feel that poorly about your man or men or relationships, I don't think you are ready to be in one mentally because we all don't feel the way you feel about our men. And I'm going to actually start just removing y'all. When you say that shit up under my post, because it's starting to get irritating at this point, because this is not the place for you. We're going to make room for the people who want to take shit to the next level, who want to move forward, who want to get past whatever that went on in their relationship. Because the thing that I have learned is there are no perfect people. When you're dealing with a person, a man, he going to have strengths and he going to have weaknesses. He going to have good and he going to have bad. Guess what? The same way he has strengths and weaknesses, us as women, we have strengths and weaknesses. We have good and bad. It's, it's called flaws, meaning that you're going to deal with people who are flawed. I'm not saying that you overlook the flaws. I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not saying that some, from time to time you don't have to address the flaws. But what I'm saying is if you basing the whole dynamic of the relationship on the flaw, then maybe you shouldn't be in it because maybe you really can't handle that flaw that they come with. That's all I'm saying. So here are the products for today that I'm talking about. And here is your homework. 
You already have the assignment to affirm your man while doing the massage during aftercare. Part two of your homework is to create two lists. I want you to list your strength, your man's strengths. I don't want to hear about what he do wrong. I want you to come up with 30 things that are his strengths. 30 things. And then I want you to create another list that has nothing to do with your man, but has everything to do with everybody else, man, that you know. Because your friends, your cousins, your family members, they all come to you from time to time and tell you about they man. What they man and done now. Girl, he cheated. Put that on the list. Rebecca man cheated. Girl, he on how wrong. Tiff no man on dope. Girl, he gambled. Jessica old man gambled all the money away. They couldn't pay their rent. Um... Samantha, oh man, I heard he messed with them punks. Samantha, man, met, uh, uh, in the closet. Uh, Keisha, oh man, whoop her ass. Keisha, man, abusive. I want you to make a list about what everybody else man doing. Not what your man doing. What everybody else man doing. Why? Because a lot of times in order for us to appreciate what we got, a lot of times we got to compare it against all of this other shit. We can't appreciate food unless we know that they got people over on the other side of the world hungry. We can't appreciate our shelter unless we know that they got people out there that's sleeping up under the bridge out here in this cold. We can't appreciate certain things that we have, the luxuries that we have. Oh, don't, don't forget it. Oh, um, what's her name? What's her name? Shit. I done forgot her name. I'm going to say Sally. Oh, Sally man can't keep no job. He always unemployed. And she got to pay all the bills. Don't forget to put Sally man on the list. The one that don't work and can't keep no job. Put him on the list. I want you to make a list. Of all everybody else man and what they ain't doing for them. And then I want you to take a look at your man again. Your husband. The one that's the provider for you and your family. The one that's the protector for you and your family. Yeah, he might have fucked up. But is he trying to do better? Is he trying to make it right? I want you to look at that list and then put it up against your man. Now, if your man looking like this list. Bitch, you should have picked Bella. I fought you because you in it for too long and sometimes we got to know when the fuck to walk away. But if your man looking a whole lot better than this list right here that you done created about everybody else made, then I need you to appreciate what you got because it could be a lot worse. Questions, concerns, comments. To book me for sex coaching, because I next week I, I got a lot of appointments next week. And we have Christmas next week. But if you are interested in sex coaching, maybe for the new year, I can um, start putting you into rotation. Because a lot of people that come to me for sex coaching, they do multiple sessions to get them where they need to be. And this is not something that you're going to do for long term. But most times, we can get it under control in about four sessions. So I say about a month, a month worth of sex coaching normally does a couple really good so this is a great way to uh start off your new year if you're interested in it um yeah i really feel like i got another book in me so i've been really praying about it i've really been praying about it and um it's like i kind of know what i want to say because my cyber sex book is about relationships and different sexual issues and all of this kind of stuff but this one i just really want i, I just really think i want to do something for the ladies um so keep me in prayer concerning that um next fantastic fellatio i had somebody that actually emailed me and her email was about can you upgrade your dildo 
Yes, if you want a more realistic bio skin dildo, which is $20 more, which would be $99.99, just email me and let me know that you need um, a customized invoice and I can invoice you um, for upgraded dildo, which the one that comes with the class is a really good one, but some people actually want the ones that get warm when you put it in your mouth or get it get warm when you put it in your body. Yes, they have dildos that do that. Um, those are the bio skin ones. They adapt to your body temperature. But that is going to be it. You all be blessed. You all be safe. I am here at the PPG store. If you like my gloves, come get your son there at the PPG store. Y'all, I love old Funky Fresh stuff. Y'all know I love Funky Fresh stuff. I'm going to slide this table to the side. Y'all see my boots? I love I love Funky Fresh stuff. God, I love it. I love getting dressed up. I, I love dressing, baby. And I'm going, I got to go to Rhythm Boutique today because uh, Kylie got some stuff down there that I like. She got a couple of shawls down there and I like them. They bad. I, I just feel like I got to have it in my life. So Kylie, I'm coming to see you today. Oh, and I ain't got to cook today, y'all. But the food will still be served on the real plate. Joanne is cooking for me today at Ruffin's 2 in Baker. So yeah, I paid last night for a whole pan of food. So I'm freed up. Spencer said we got to go to Macy's today, so I'm going to Macy's. When I, 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 my day planned out. Amber getting married tomorrow. Congratulations again, Amber and Leon. Y'all, Amber been off all this week. And um, she off next week, too, so she can enjoy her husband. I'm super excited for them. But I think that's going to wrap up my live today. You all be blessed. Make sure you like and share. And, you know, if you feel like these videos help you in your relationship, share them. This is how we get information out, okay? Share them. So I'm going to end this video, and then I'm going to get on my Facebook and answer y'all questions, okay? YouTube, uh, don't forget to like and share. Y'all be blessed. All right.